brothers and sisters, welcome to day seven of our 33-day journey to Eucharistic glory, to consecrate in our lives, our nations, our home, our whole archdiocese to our Eucharistic Jesus. It's a real joy to be journeying with all of you. I hope that you're getting as much out of this 33 the journey as I am. And don't forget to go to catholictt.org for the one-stop shop of finding out information about the journey. And it's never too late to, to join the journey. So praise God. Yesterday we were speaking about the six lessons that Matthew Kelly spoke about that have played a huge role in his own life. You know, to keeping him fervent in the fervent times, but even to pulling him through the desert times. And something that it's just that he noticed that plays a significant role in his life. So if you haven't seen the lessons from yesterday, please go back to the video yesterday and have a watch of it. But today, I just want to focus he, he, on the, seventh, the sixth lesson yesterday. He spoke about just show up. Keep showing up in prayer. And this is speaking about, you know, the, the, the theme of today, which is the virtue of a pilgrim. This is day seven, so we're coming to the end of the first week of our journey, and we've been looking at these days about how we're on a pilgrimage, that we're pilgrims, but we're not just any pilgrims, we're pilgrims with a particular destination, which is heaven, and you know, keeping in view the four last things that we spoke about in a few days ago, but keeping ahead of us that this, this amazing destination that we're all called to, which is to live with God and with the saints and angels in that most supreme reality, which is heaven. And it, we said yesterday, that's a great journey to get to heaven. And we need help. We need the bread of life. We need the Eucharist to strengthen us to make that journey. But the virtue of the pilgrim to get to that journey is what we're going to speak about today, which is perseverance. You know, this is a very important virtue for the spiritual life, to persevere. And as Matthew says in his sixth lesson, is keep showing up. I, I'm reminded about um, our own brother in our own Irish Dominican province, Father Paul Murray. Maybe some of you might have heard of Father Paul. He's a great friend of Bishop Robert Barron. And Father Paul uh, taught at the Angelicum University in Rome for, for decades. And he's a very well-known Catholic spiritual writer, commenting very much on the mystical tradition of the church, the life of prayer. And Father Paul always gives a joke when he was first a novice becoming a Dominican priest, um, joining the Dominican order. And he asked this other very wise, sage, uh, older Dominican father about prayer. And he was saying, you know, Father Cahal, his name was Cahal, Father Cahal, tell me, what's his secret to, to contemplation? What's his secret to, to Dominican spirituality and prayer? And Father Cahal said, Brother Paul, Keep showing up. Stick to it, stick to it, stick to it. We may call it stick to itiveness. <laughs> Whatever it is, it's keep showing up. It's really important to flourish in our relationship with God by commitment. Just like any relationship, we'll go through the dry times and the, the romantic times. It's commitment, it's those marriage vows that, that pulls people through those very difficult moments where they could have given up and where they were just on the verge of discovering something amazing in the relationship. And I've seen that many times in marriages. I've seen it in my own vows uh, to religious life and to community life. You know, the, to, to persevere. Uh, you're surprised by new, new um, experiences of God uh, in life. So the virtue of the pilgrim, our journey is to persevere. So some of us might be feeling, gosh, we're already seven days in. I don't know if I could do the next 33. Well, stick it out. You know, ask God for the grace because God really blesses our commitment. He really does. And, you know, Matthew Kelly writes in his book about when he asked the priest himself, and he has a similar story to what Father Paul Murray said, which is about prayer. Just keep showing up. And he says, just keep showing up. The old priest said to me, I didn't understand at first, and when I asked him what he meant, he replied, I am speaking plainly. No hidden meanings, boy. Just keep showing up. Show up each day regardless of how you feel or if it is convenient. Just show up and let God work on you. I love that part. Just show up and let God work on you. Brothers and sisters, when we go to the Holy Mass, sometimes we feel empty, we feel distracted, we don't feel like there's much we can offer. But the fact that we are there, 
we know that the Lord will work on us through the transformation of the bread and wine into himself in the Mass. And then he will give himself to us in the Holy Eucharist. And that will transform us. Because the Eucharist is not dead bread. It's living bread. It affects our soul. And you will not necessarily feel it. But you know what? I've been meeting many brothers and sisters who were telling me how much the Eucharist changes their life. And that's why they turn up at Mass. Because it does affect something in their life. And, and it does impact the grace of God in their life. It's the bread from heaven. And so do we believe this? The more we believe this, the more we have faith in the Eucharist, the more the power of God will flow from Jesus' Eucharistic heart into our lives. So brothers and sisters, I'd like to end today with a quote by Blessed Frasati. He says, With all the strength of my soul, I urge you to approach the communion table as often as you can. Feed on this bread of angels, and you will draw all the energy you need to fight the inner battles. God bless you, brothers and sisters. There it is. God bless you.